Hey guys, what's up? Gonna be doing some work on the rain tonight. It's a beautiful night out. The sun is still shining thanks to daylight savings. We get an extra hour of daylight, which just means spring and summer is that much closer. So getting the bike ready for the weekend, we're going down to Wind Rock in Bailey Mountain Bike Park in Tennessee and North Carolina. Super rowdy riding, you've seen the videos. I was there in Wind Rock last year and it's, it's no joke, man. It's super steep and gnarly and just, the only word I can really to describe Wind Rock is it's an onslaught of steepness. It's just, it's hard to explain. The videos don't do it justice, but uh, I can't wait to get back. It, it was eye-opening and I can't wait to get back with that sort of experience of being there under my belt uh, already. It'll be great to hit it again. I wanted to uh, get the bike beefed up a little bit for the trip. So I'm going to be putting some Kushcore on the rain. So I talked to the guys at Kushcore, seeing what they could do for me uh, and they hooked me up. So let's see what they sent me. All right. So here's what they sent me here. I got a, what looks like I got a cool uh, t-shirt they sent me here. That's sweet. And then of course the Kushcore inserts there. So let's take a look at what's in the package. All right. So in the box comes, obviously, uh, looks like there's probably another one down there. So it comes with the Cush Core uh, tire uh, insert. And so really it's hard to describe what this feels like. Um, I mean, I had seen a Cush Core or pictures of it and stuff online, but it's kind of hard to explain. It's super dense. It uh, feels really good. It feels like high quality. It's not like some people compare this to a pool noodle or something like that, but this is not. This is super high quality material. Some tubeless, there's special tubeless valves. Some more, just some printed out instructions here. Looks like some stickers here. I think these are, uh, you could actually put these stickers on your, on your rims if you wanted to. And then of course the other, the other insert there. So a lot of people talk about Kushcore and the advantages, and obviously you can check out their web, website at kushcore.com. Uh, all the information's there. Um, but a lot of people just think Kushcore is a, is a rim, a rim protector. And I mean, that's not, that's, I mean, that's great, but that's not the reason I'm using Kushcore. I want to use Kushcore because they're going to run lower tire pressures, which will mean more traction, more confidence. It sort of acts like if you think of your, of your tire, it's kind of like a, a spring, right? And it's got no damper in it. So it's just basically like a pogo stick down the trail, right? And this will act as a damper inside the wheel or inside the tire. And so I can run lower pressure. It'll act like a little bit of a, a rebound, comp rebound control on the tire. So it's not quite as bouncy, which actually increases rolling resistance, believe it or not. I know you're adding weight to the tire, but keeping that traction on the ground, you're, you're increasing your rolling resistance. So I can't wait to try this out, get it on and uh, test it out this weekend and really see what it does for me. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, try to get this on. So yeah, I'm a little bit scared of how this install is going to go. Um, I've watched their video and I've watched a few other people's videos like uh, Horns High Mountain Bike. I saw your video. I really thought you did a cool job, your little trick to installing this. So we're going to give it a shot. So let's uh, get to it. Okay, so let's uh, get started here. I think the key with this is just being patient, right? This is not going to be super easy, but we just got to be patient, right? So I'm just cleaning up the rim, getting all the sealant off there, inspecting the uh, tape, making sure everything looks good. All right, so I'm gonna remove the stock valve core. Or stock valve, sorry. Yeah, getting that, uh, getting that stock uh, valve stem out was harder than I thought for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm gonna put the valve core in now. So this is the valve core that comes with the kit here. If you can see it here, just focus on it. And it's kind of got a T where the air comes out the sides of it, which is kind of cool. So I'll go ahead and put that on here. Make sure you put the O-ring in correctly as well. So 
I'm gonna put that O-ring back in there. All right, so on this little nut here, I don't know if you can see, there's a little beveled edge and we wanna make sure the beveled edge goes up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. So one thing they suggested in their video, if I can get this here, was to take a, like a plastic hammer or, or something and hold down, so you can hold down the wheel. Then you can stretch this up. Man, this stuff is tight. Whew. Yeah, so that's on there now. And I'm just gonna make sure it's all in there good. Okay, so now the real fun's gonna get going here now. Let me make sure I put this tire on right. So what do we got here with the logos? The logos go on the drive side, right? So like so. Now one thing Kushcore did suggest at this point is a little bit of soapy water spray down inside around the tire just to help everything slide into place better. <laughs> this shouldn't even be the hard part. Okay, so I got that on there now. So now we're going to start doing this. So, so the key that Cush Course said is to kind of roll the tire and then shove it down in the beads. So we roll it and shove it in. So roll it and shove it in. And we want to get that bead down. Doesn't help. I'm kind of wondering if I don't want to spray this with soapy water because it's my hands are sliding all over the place now. Let's get this started here, and this is not perfect, but we'll get it started and then we'll come back. So I'm trying to get that bead right down in the channel, and uh, yeah, it's tricky to say the least, but I think I'm getting the hang of it slightly here. This is where things are okay. So now this is a tip from uh, Horns High. He says, go back and kind of really try to jam that bead down in the middle of the tire. Okay, so I still got a boat from here to here to get on here, so you can see there. So let's uh, yeah. So I think it's just a key of patiently going back and trying to work your way around. We're so close to getting this on here. Okay. All right. So we got it all in there on the one side. So now I gotta go and do it all again on the other side. Sometimes I think it's hard to just get the first little bit started. So again, I'm just gonna try to warp that into the middle more. See, I'm kind of 
got this much more to go oops on here it's getting there but man this is a workout i know they say on their on their install video to uh use a garbage can to kind of lie the tire on and i can see now that might have been a good idea but i don't have an extra garbage can other than a garbage can that's been well used and i don't think i wanted to be using that So again, guys, the benefits to Cush Core that I'm really looking forward to has been able to run lower tire pressure, get some more traction, increased confidence in the corners because you're gonna get less uh, squirm with the tires because of the sidewall uh, strengthening of the Cush Core. That's how the Cush Core kind of works. It pushes against the sidewall of the tire. And that's why this is so tight to install, right? It's because it's because of that, right? You want it, you want it tight. Makes it kind of a, a pain to install, but the benefits are worth it. Ooh, we got it, man. We got it all in there. Wow, that was tricky, but uh, it's kind of pumped that I got it in there. So let's go ahead and air this up. Whew. It's just gonna air this up now. I got my Presta to Schrader adapter we'll put on here. So we got some air in the tire, it's holding well, the beads all popped. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put sealant in here. So let's do that. It's gonna be uh, putting in orange seal sealant here. Uh, this is my personal favorite uh, sealant. I've been using it in the Roscoe for a while and uh, I really like it. So I'm gonna switch, this was have, did have stands in it. We're gonna be switching to the orange seal. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're just, we took out the valve core and now we're just gonna put the sealant in. So put about two ounces here to start. So we're just gonna inject the sealant in here now. So that was about two ounces. Um, orange say to do about two to three ounces or three to four ounces, what does it say on here? It says uh, three to four ounces. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in here now. All right. Get that all in there. Okay. So we're good. We have the, the sealant in there now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and Wipe this down a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, put air in it, and we should be good. Okay, so I got the Cush Core in the front tire, pumped it all up, just shaking the sealant around in there, getting it all all around in place. Got it pumped up to about 50 PSI right now. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that for a bit and then I'll lower, lower it down to, you know, probably low 20s or something like that. They say you can run about five PSI lower than what you normally run. So I think for Windrock, that should be good. I don't know, we'll have to experiment. Anyway, so now I gotta do the whole thing on the, on the rear. I won't bother you with boring you through all that whole process, but I'll join you at the end and we'll just uh, wrap it up. So got the Cush Core installed, went reasonably well. Uh, a little tricky, but uh, not too bad. Uh, Cush Core's got a great video on their site, like I said, and uh, checked out a couple other videos, really helped me along the way. I uh, just kind of had to be patient and take my time, but I uh, got them installed. Can't wait to try them out this weekend. Again, uh, going to uh, Wind Rock and Bailey Mountain Bike Park. 
hoping to meet up with some other YouTubers. So that'll be uh, quite the adventure and a real test for the uh, Kush Core. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure you do so you can check out those videos coming up in a few weeks. They'll be, uh, they'll be awesome to check out for sure, I'm, I'm sure. And I also set up a Patreon page. Check that out at patreon.com, Hauser MTV. There'll be lots of behind the scenes footage from the road trip down there and uh, some exclusive stuff on there. So check that out. I really appreciate the support there. And I really just appreciate you guys liking the videos, subscribing and just hanging around for, for, uh, for this adventure, you know, me getting into mountain biking and all that. And, everything that goes along with it, like installing Kushcore for the first time. So again, I want to thank the guys from Kushcore for sending me the uh, insert to try out and um, the new shirt, I like that, Kushcore. So check out their website, kushcore.com. And as always, keep your feet on the pedals. Oh, shut your face, Toogie Hauser!